sort of uh, disclaimer. This is a lesson I'm going to use for classroom BSL students where students are pulled in and drop into class and get their schedule switched all the time. So it might be a little bit weird, but we'll see how. Okay. So, hello everybody. You've all been reading Mouse, right? Yes. And trust? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to discuss a little bit about Mouse, but more specifically about comic books, right? I think the most exciting thing about Mouse and reading it in the English class is that it's not just a book with words in it, it's a comic book, which I think is really exciting. So, <clears throat> let's quickly go over the learning target for today. Let's all read it together like one big happy family. One, two, three. I can analyze the deeper meaning of a picture in a comic book and discuss how it affects the story. Great, all right? So today we're going to talk about maybe why a mouse is a comic book and how the pictures can actually give more meaning to the story instead of just helping you understand what's going on or looking pretty. <laughs> um, so for those of you new to the class who maybe haven't done the reading or just came in today, we'll review what Mouse is, uh, this book that you have on your desk that you've never opened before. So Mouse is a story about a cartoon named, a uh, cartoonist named Art, who that's his self-portrait of himself right there. Um, he is, it's a comic about making a comic. He is making a comic about his father Vladek's experiences during the Holocaust, right? His family is Jewish, his father lived through the Holocaust and was in a concentration camp, many concentration camps actually. Um, and the part of the story that we're talking about today, um, back in the 1940s, Vladek re is realizing the increasing threat of the German army. He hasn't been captured yet. But he's realizing the increasing threat, and he's taking his wife, Anya, and he's starting to run. He wants to get away, and he's heard terrifying stories, and he just wants to get out. Um, and again, like I said, Mouse is a comic book, and that's very fun to read, but it is not just pretty pictures. Um, so before I show you the pretty picture we're going to be talking about today, um, let's go over a little review of figurative language, which we've also been studying. Um, so personification is one thing we've talked about, um, where human characteristics are attributed to an abstract quality, animal, or an inanimate object. Um, like you could say the wind is howling, or the trees are dancing in the wind. That is personification, because they can't actually do that. Uh, metaphor is a figure of speech that says that one thing is another different thing. Like, you are my sunshine. But these don't just have to be written down, they can also be visual. You can make a metaphor or personification with pictures. Like Art Spiegelman, the author of Mouse, does right here. This is the image we're going to be talking about today. This is just one panel, one part of the story from book two of Mouse. And you can see this up here. This is Vladek, <coughs> Art's father, and Anya, his wife. They're on the run, like I said, they're realizing the threat of the Nazi army. And here there's a story bubble that says, we walked in the direction of Sosnowiec, which is another town uh, in Poland, uh, but where to go, right? And it's got a question mark and an exclamation point there, kind of knowing they're in danger, that they have to go somewhere, but they have no idea where to go, okay? So, we're going to have a discussion about this image. These questions are going to come back, and not, they're not just going to disappear right away, but these are some things to think about. Are there any symbols in this image that you recognize, and what do you think they mean? Why did Art choose to draw the picture of Vladek and Anya running from the Nazis in this way? And if you want a little challenge, if your group goes through the discussion and is finished in like five seconds, this challenge question for you is why do you think Art chose mice to represent the Jewish people in this book of Mass? Why would you draw them as mice instead of dogs, cats, or fish. Um, just something interesting to think about. So remember how we have discussions in this class. Everybody should talk. Uh, each group has a facilitator, someone to ask questions, and making sure everybody is getting a chance to explain and express their opinion. Uh, everybody's got a recorder that's taking notes, writing down important ideas, uh, especially who said them also, in case you need to quote them later. Uh, and then a reporter, so that after the discussion is finished, we can come together as a class and share what we all thought about this image. Okay? So, oh, and then since stands for discussion, that's right. Remember, we've gone through this every single time we've ever talked about anything in a book before. You can always say, 
I think blank because on page blank it says blank or because in the book it says blank. Uh, and then for asking questions, you can say, do you think mm, maybe because it's not quite clear. So you can use that to maybe help your discussion go forward a little bit. Or you can say, in my opinion, blah, blah, blah. Right? Okay. So I have a handout for you. It's a safe paper. I'm going to put the handout up like this, and you can use scratch paper. Um, so there's the image again. Uh, and then the questions are down here. In fact, I might just put it back up on the PowerPoint and get this scratch paper. Um, There we go. Okay. So, we'll get you guys into groups. I think we've got a pretty perfect three, 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 right? Is that okay with you guys? So get into your group, look at this picture, discuss the image and what you think it means. Super big swastika. Why are they walking on the swastika? The swastika. Because in my understanding, I just think it's because it's kind of saying no matter where they go or if they try to eliminate it, they are just giving back to the I like that. Is that what you're going to say? I was going to say, in my opinion, um, they are going, they're going to have to have to They're going to have 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 to I think we have to want to do it on the um, here. Why did we draw the nice to represent it? It's usually linked with smokestacks, um, smokestacks, um, that's the supreme majority of the team. Do you think there's other symbols? Do you think there's other symbols? Oh, okay. Um, um, I mean, it's like the where to go. The iron trees. Of course, you can see the factor. You can see the factor, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like maybe a. It and reminds it has smoke me of coming out of it, which means they're probably throwing in some stuff in there. <laughs> it, does it remind you of that famous artist that always has like the lines? Yes, I know who you're talking about. Um, um, I don't know who I'm talking about. I do. I don't know the name. It's always I do. It's always the artist. I know you didn't know the artist. You learn the lines of people. I mean, there's a super famous there. You learn the lines of people. Six great artists from America. But it has international so, but you'd know it if you saw Okay, okay, so we had a rough topic. Yes. How's your guys' discussion going? you should take these Yeah. Okay, so we've got the, we've got the harvest, we've got the hay. So, anyway, so the hay. Um, Could that so represent that some people probably yeah. crazy in the book, by the way? Because the truth is that 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 <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like they I keep looking like it's going to tell me something else. Okay, so, but also, in this case, might be survived. Yeah, it is. For sure, it's hard to show. There's like lots of reasons that I think I have to think of this one. It's kind of It makes sense because it's like, okay, Hitler, you call us remnants. Here we are. And we're going to survive. Right now, it's not a condition. I think it also raises the question of Okay, really quickly, bringing it back together. What did you guys think about this image? What did you talk about? Yes, me. We talked about these two ladies because um, it's a swastika mm -hmm. that they're walking on, and it we think it represents how no matter what, where they go, they have to go through the swastika or like the Nazis are always going to be there as they're trying to navigate their way out. Yeah, and the swastika is the symbol of what the Nazis are. The Nazis. Are. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so that's a good answer for question one, right? In Art Spiegelman, the cartoonist, and this is something you couldn't do in a regular book, right? He's not only said that they have trouble finding somewhere to go, but he has shaped their path in a symbol that represents their enemy, which is something you can only really 